what is up fellow gamers? How many of you are fans of Godzilla or the MonsterVerse? Me, 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 me! Now, how many of you are fans of fighting games or brawler smash em up games? If how many times are we gonna do this? If your answer was, I am, to one or both of those questions, then you have to at least try Gigabash. So a good kaiju fighting game is hard to find, and Gigabash tries to fill that void with an easy to pick up brawler where you can play your favorite atomic breathing reptile since Godzilla is available as DLC. But the game doesn't revolve around Godzilla. I wanna let you guys know that. The devs have created their own group of kaiju and created a few quick stories around each one for players that enjoy a story mode. Now, the story mode isn't beefy. It offers multiple difficulty levels you can choose from. You will have to go through story mode to unlock some characters. And there's other hidden characters such as Concrete that you simply have to destroy enough buildings to unlock. And you can do that. You don't have to go online in a PVP mode. You can do that in a PVAI mode. And just within the environment, destroying the buildings will unlock a hero like Concrete. Some of the characters are fun inspirations based off a of phase we've had in the past, especially when I was a kid or when you were a kid, whether that's the Power Rangers with Rojack or Balcazar, which is Goldar, or adding some of Godzilla's more famous rogues in Ghidorah, Gigan, and the pollution monster, Hedora, I might be saying that wrong, who arrived to Earth, fed off our pollution. And then of course, what does us humans do? We cry for Godzilla to help us. So every hero has an ultimate that's not complicated to pull off once you fill up your Giga Energy Meter and you inflict some major damage to your opponents. Now, everybody's, of course, ultimate is different, but it's a cool effect because it zero ends on you and then it kind of blows you up and then it just shows you going off on everybody else that's on the screen. They also have signature emotes that each hero can use at the end of the match prior to the cutscene, And that's always a nice touch to have those. So Gigabash has a growing list of characters and it's a good change of pace from other games that you're playing. You can play PVAI, like I said, or PVP in various game modes, unlock new images and maps as you complete certain tasks during the game. And they do have a training mode, but what I'll tell you, the training mode is not very good right now because you can't select who you want to select. You are stuck playing the basic Kaiju hero that they created and you also start story mode with. And while the buttons to perform every character's moves are the same, each move has nuance to it, so it would be nice that you'll be able to choose the kaiju you want and take them into the tutorial and test out a few things. So that's pretty much lacking. But if you're looking for a little something different, easy to pick up and play, but still has levels to it, give Giga Bash a shot. I jump on it from time to time and it's a good time. As of now, there's just nothing that grabs me enough to keep me going back to play it very often. But a game that represents some MonsterVerse action requires a little of my attention and this became an add to my gaming library. But that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think of Gigabash, if you've played it, and if there's something you think is worth sharing, please share your knowledge with others in the comments. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace. <laughs>